Hi friends, welcome to the Kids Zone with Miss Trishy. That's me. Today we're gonna read a special story and I'm gonna give you a clue. This is your clue. What is this? Do you know what this is? It's something we wear on our hands when it's cold outside and usually it's in the winter time. That's right, it's a mitten. Can you say mitten? Mitten, good job. And what color is our mitten? Yes, you guys are right, it's white. Can you say white? Good job, a white mitten. So do you know what the story is about? Yes, it's about a white mitten. The name of our story is The Mitten. We're gonna use all these little animal puppets for our story. We're gonna use a mole puppet. The mole is a furry. He digs underground and makes tunnels. He makes a small grunting sound like this. We're gonna also use, do you know which one this one is? The puppet bunny. Bunnies are furry and soft. They live in gardens and they hop. They make a thumping sound with their back legs. They're called their hind legs, the back legs. So they make a thumping sound. Can you make a thumping sound with your legs? Good job. Remember this one? It's a hedgehog. Hedgehog. Can you say hedgehog? Very good. Hedgehogs have little prickly spikes. Their little prickly spikes are called Quills, can you say quills? Quills, quills, good job. They dig underground sometimes and they make like a grunting sound, like, <clears throat> like that. Can you do it? <clears throat> good job. Do you remember what puppet this one is? Very good, an owl. Can you say owl? Owl, very good. What sound does an owl make? Good job, like a hoo, hoo, like a hooting sound. Hoo, hoo. And owls sleep during the day and they're awake at night. They're nocturnal. They sleep in the daytime and they and they're awake at nighttime. It's silly, I know. They're nocturnal. Owls are birds. They live in trees. And you know what else they do sometimes? Sometimes they could turn their whole head around. We can't do that, but owls could do that. They turn their whole head around. This one, he kind of looks like a badger. You say badger? Good job. Like a ferret or a weasel. A badger has short little legs and he's very, very furry. The badgers live in the forest and in the grass sometimes. And they make a grunting noise like, <coughs> like that. <coughs> Can you do that? Good job. Fox, the fox is medium sized, just like a dog. They're in the dog family. They have fluffy fur and they have a long fluffy tail. The fox makes a howling sound like this. Oh, oh. Can you say oh? Good job. Oh. And they make little holes in the ground for their babies. The next animal we're gonna use and our story is a, do you remember this one? Good job. A bear. Can you say bear? B bear. Good job saying bear. Bears are big and they're furry. They're very furry, but they're very big. And they live in the woods. Bears make a big noise, like a growl. They go, Aah. Can you do that? Good job. They growl really loud. Good job. 
And the last one we're gonna use is a little mouse. A mouse is very, very tiny. A mouse lives in the woods and sometimes they live in sheds too. And they make a little, little tiny squeaky noise. Can you do a tiny squeaking sound? Like, can you do it? It's a little tricky. That's the sound a mouse makes. Good job. The Mitten. Once there was a boy named Nicky. He wanted mittens as white as snow. If you drop a white mitten in the snow, it will be hard to find, his grandmother told him. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens so much that Baba made them for him. When she finished knitting, Nicky put on the mittens and went out to play. It wasn't long before one mitten fell off. A little mole found it and crawled inside. It was just the right size, so he decided to stay. Oh no, he dropped his mitten. <gasps> A rabbit came hopping by. He wiggled in next to the mole. A hedgehog wanted to get warm. The mole and the rabbit made room for him. The owl didn't want to be left out. So the mole the rabbit and the hedgehog had to move over. The little mitten was getting crowded. The badger looked out of his house and saw the mitten. He climbed right in. It started to snow, so the fox pushed his way in and made himself right at home. Then a big bear sniffed at the mitten. <laughs> the animals were packed in tight but the bear didn't care. He crawled in anyway. The mitten was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Then a tiny mouse squeezed in and perched herself on the big bear's nose. The mouse's whiskers tickle the bear's nose. Ah, 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 achoo! The bear sneezed. All of the animals flew out of the mitten. Nicky saw his mitten sail up into the air. From the window, Baba watched Nikki catch his mitten. See, Baba, he called to her. I have both my mittens. 
And Baba smiled. The end. Oh my goodness, I am so, so happy that Nick found his mitten. I am so happy. Thank you for listening to the story, my friends, and helping me put all the animals in the mitten. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see all my beautiful videos. Thank you. Bye, my friends.